Muito, muito boa tarde. Bem-vindos ao Centro Cultural de Belém e à quarta eh, da Conferência da Garagem, eh, que encerra o ciclo de 2017 eh, com a apresentação eh, dos Beca e Lemoine. Eh, temos hoje connosco o Ila Beca. Eh, como têm no vosso programa e com certeza sabem, são eh, artistas, realizadores, produtores, editores eh, e essencialmente têm a partir da, da, do meio da, do filme e do documentário e da, e da construção da imagem e da representação em movimento das obras e do, e do seu espaço das obras de arquitetura e do espaço doméstico da arquitetura tem permitido um repensar e uma construção de um, de um novo sentido para muitas obras de muitos arquitetos e para o nosso próprio entendimento do que é a arquitetura. E o, o trabalho deles tem sido profundamente premiado e tivemos o privilégio de, durante o verão, termos na, na praça que construímos temporariamente uh, para o CCB ter uma praça no verão, uh, tivemos uma, praticamente uma integral dos trabalhos, dos filmes que têm vindo a realizar nos últimos dez anos. Uh, são, são um casal, uh, a Louise Lemoine uh, e o Ila Beca têm, têm também os seus trabalhos representados na na coleção do Museu de Arte Moderna de Nova Iorque, e, e, está, e os filmes, o seu trabalho está representado na, coleção, na sua coleção permanente. Eles encerram o programa de 2017, que era verde, e, e vocês encontraram na vossa cadeira o programa de 2018, que é vermelho, e que nos trará continuará a programação das, da, da Garagem Sul eh, com conferências de arquitetura que trazem o que eh, esperamos ouvir hoje também do Ila Beca, que é eh, uma construção de um olhar sobre a prática, o exercício da profissão, a construção, a transformação das nossas cidades, eh, que não, um, diria eu, dizia eu, um olhar que não é o olhar exclusivamente da explicação do projeto eh, e, da, e que não é o olhar técnico, diria assim, dos arquitetos. E é um olhar crítico, eh, seja de arquitetos que constroem, seja de arquitetos que escrevem, seja de arquitetos que filmam, seja de arquitetos que eh, gerem eh, processos de transformação das cidades e do território. Eh, teremos... Eh, em março, a Marina Tabassum, que vem do Bangladesh, onde tem uma atividade profissional importante. Temos o, teremos em maio o Laurent Stalder, que vem de Zurique, onde tem desempenhado um papel bastante importante na renovação do Instituto de Teoria e História da Arquitetura. Temos o Jean-Louis Violot, que vem de Paris, trazer-nos notícias do maio de 68 e temos a Maria Moita, nossa conterrânea, mas que vem das Filipinas, onde tem vindo a trabalhar nos últimos anos numa agência das Nações Unidas para o realojamento de populações deslocadas por muitas circunstâncias, seja de guerra, seja de desastres naturais. Portanto, há um, há um, e no fundo é este pano de, de uma arquitetura que não é exclusivamente a, a, da, a da construção do edifício ou a da mera prestação de serviços eh, que temos vindo a trazer nestas conferências da garagem e que criam um, um, uma espécie de conversa com o que se passa do lado da, da exposição. Esta pequenina introdução era para garantir os 15 minutos de tolerância para quem ficou retido eh, pela chuva. Eh, 
e uh, agora passar a, a palavra ao Ila Beca, sem antes, uh, não sem antes, fazer uma, uma pequena advertência. Ao contrário do que tem vindo a ser habitual, nós não vamos fazer no final da sessão, uma, uma, do final da apresentação, perguntas e respostas. Não é? Aquela coisa, alguém tem alguma pergunta para fazer? Depois fica assim um certo silêncio, até haver alguma mão mais tímida que se levanta. E, e fazendo jus ao, ao título Living Architectures, para que a conferência seja mais viva, tem, se quiserem fazer perguntas, é durante a, a, a apresentação. E, e, e o Ila disse-me que ficaria muito feliz se, se isto fosse menos professoral, com este ar aqui do púlpito, e se fosse efetivamente mais dialogante com, com a plateia. E, temos ali uns microfones, é escusado um, levantar demasiada voz, Uh, e sem mais, Ila, uh, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much to uh, Andre Tavares. I would like to start with just uh, say thank you to CCB to invite us. We are very happy to come in Lisbon. And to Andre Tavares and Margarita Ventosa, all the people that organize this event. Uh, yes, as it says um, in Portuguese, I'm a little bit confused because uh, I, I was listening in Portuguese, but I have to talk in, in, in English. But I'm Italian and my wife is French, so we talk in French, but I'm Italian. So sorry for my English. Uh, it's a little bit complicated to switch in the, this language. I'm, I'm a whole uh, culture, so I'm not, uh, I'm a little confused. So, Uh, just to, to explain that uh, uh, Becca Lemoine, we are two, so uh, I'm uh, Ila Becca, but uh, Louise Lemoine, she's not here. I, 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 don't, I don't know if you said this, but uh, she couldn't came cause, uh, come because uh, she's breastfeeding. <laughs> so, because <laughs> we, we had a, a new baby, so it's, uh, uh, so she say, this is a picture that I took just before leaving, so she, does, she, she doesn't know that she's on the screen now. <laughs> so please don't take picture <laughs> and don't put it on Instagram because she, she, I think now she's on Instagram <laughs> searching for CCB tag. So, so <laughs> Louise Lemoine or CCB tag, so please don't do it. But she's now, she's like this. So we had, uh, so just to say this because Uh, all this film that we made is a, is a love story, as you can uh, understand. So we met uh, 15 years ago, but 10 years ago we decided to make a, a film about architecture. Well, this is the, uh, you, don't can, you can't see it uh, very well, but uh, this is our filmography. So for now, n anything, nothing. But this is the first film we made. So. Yeah, I, I, I hope you have a lot of time to stay here because we have to fill all the cases. <laughs> so it's 24 films. Uh, I have uh, almost 30 minutes for film to show. It's, it's okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, so this is our first film. It's called As Housewife. I don't know if uh, someone uh, has uh, have seen it. it uh, I, I think it was uh, this, uh, this summer shown on the screen and here. We made this film when we, we started talking about uh, architecture. I'm an architect, so I studied architecture in Venice with uh, one of my teachers was uh, Gregotti. Uh, Gregotti is the architect of this place. And uh, we started start talking about architecture with Louise. And Louise, uh, we had this fantastic uh, opportunity to, to film in this house very famous house by uh, an architect, uh, uh, Rem Colas, that uh, everybody knows. And uh, so we, we started talking about what is, uh, is, what is filming uh, architecture. So I, I would like to talk about this film because it's, uh, this film is almost today, all, always today, is a sort of matrix for us. So it's, it's a, an experiment, but it's an approach that we have already have 10 years later. 
So this is very important. And so when we talk about uh, architecture, we, we just mm, just uh, thought that uh, there was something strange in uh, filming architecture, and representing architecture, because uh, normally was uh, nor it still is it still is the, um, the architecture when you film architecture is to promote a building. Or is normally is an architect that call you to say he say I would like to take back the best picture of my building. Uh, so the, it, it it was a lack of um, something of in the representation about all the, the almost about the about the the, um, the 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 relationship of the body of the people inside a, a space. So we wanted to fill the space with uh, the the life. The life. How, how is it normally the architecture? Because when uh, during my studies in, in architecture at the, at the university in Venice, I always thought, uh, why in all the pictures there's no people, there's no disorder. There's, I'm, I'm a very disordinated man, so you you can understand it tonight. And, uh, Louise, she's very organized, so uh, I I not stole uh, all the all only a picture, but I stole all all all, all uh, also her notes about the lectures. <laughs> don't please don't take a picture of this. You know. So I have very organized notes for lecture because when we made when we make a lecture, she's very she's French, so she's I'm, I'm Italian. She's French, so she, she studied at La Sorbonne, the Sorbonne, so she's perfect. So when she says something, is like, you can hear Louise and you write a book. When you just, uh, with your record, you record the, uh, her voice and you write a book, and the book is perfect for the print. So maybe I, I, can, uh, I can read something uh, just. Uh. So she says, she says, how to define our work? So fantastic. To, to define, is related to this, so to define shortly our thing, we could say that we are very much interested to observe how architecture and public space can affect our lives, change our behavior and develop our consciousness and sensitivity towards space. So you, you have to understand everything. It, it, we wanted to, to understand this, how a, a place, a space can change your behavior because we know that every every place, every every building, and the now we are working on cities, uh, the city can change the people that stay inside. So we we decided to to do this in uh, some iconic building, and uh, we we had this opportunity to film uh, this icon, very iconic uh, house, the house in Bordeaux by Rem Coles. And inside this house, this was, uh, there was this lady, fantastic lady, Spanish lady, Guadalupe Acedo, that is the cleaning lady. And she had, um, she had a very, very interesting approach through the, the space and the architecture. So we decided to film her, making just, just staying with her. So experiencing, experiencing the space with, the, the, with someone that is working inside. So uh, um, I have uh, I have a lot of extracts. I will show you this extract. We say you have, maybe you know this. Yeah, this, this is the house. That's the house. This is all. Uh, so I wanted to to show you this because when uh, we made this film, 
<coughs> we just we took we took the the, the drawings of of this of the um, of this the house and we draw the the this is the path of um, of each fragment of the film of uh, Guadalupe. So we decided to to draw all the the the, the all the movement of Guadalupe inside the, the, the building. And this is a, a way to explain how we experience, uh, experience the, 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 um, the space. And uh, I think, I, uh, yes, this is, and this is all the, all the film. The, the, this, the, the previous one was just one fragment. And this is all the, the, the path of uh, all the, the, the film. So this is Guadalupe going everywhere in the house. And, uh, we try to, with uh, little fragments of uh, this film, there's a, there, is a, um, there are 25 fragments, I think. In 25 fragments, you, you have to reconnect all the fragments to have an, an idea of, of the house. So you don't see the house in, in, uh, in the globality. In the, uh, normally, is what, what, when you see a f an architectural film, uh, the first thing that uh, every, everyone does is uh, to show you everything, to, so you can understand everything about the house, about this, how it works, and how the, the architect is a genius. So we wanted to make the different, the, the, the opposite. So just to film some little view, a point of view, and you have to make the, the work after that. So um, this was, I, I will finish with this, this film. This was the, the, the matter because uh, we decided to, 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 to take this sort of approach and to put to other kind of uh, buildings. So the, at the beginning, it was all the, only the uh, buildings, architecture. And, uh, and just, uh, just to, to spend a a, um, just uh, some days, in this case, it was uh, 10 days, I think, uh, if, if I remember. 10 days, we stay 10 days with Guadalupe. And we decided to go to other other buildings where uh, there was many um, more people than just one, like uh, Guadalupe. So we made a film uh, uh, in a building by Herzog de Meron, it's, uh, for the grape pickers in a very famous wine in, uh, in, in Pomerol in France. This is Pomerol Herzog de Meron. So we stayed uh, with these people in this uh, beautiful place where they, it, it's quite, I don't know if uh, today is normal, but uh, this, uh, we made this film uh, night, it was a uh, night nine years ago. And uh, it, it, it was quite like, uh, like a Colas house. It was quite uh, strange to see people inside uh, the image uh, and uh, not always, uh, not like always people uh, like silhouette, but people talking, uh, making things uh, 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 like here, like here, um, screaming very hard. So it's a sort of, uh, it was uh, for the architecture of this kind of architects, very famous architects, sort of uh, like uh, someone told us, uh, you rape the architecture with these images. I take this like a compliment, but, uh, I don't think he wanted to make a compliment. So this is a series of uh, three films about uh, some building by Renzo Piano. This is in, inside Piano. Uh, this one is another, another film about, I go very fast for this film because it's quite the same approach on the same uh, different buildings. This is a church. We made this film uh, in Rome in the church by um, uh, Richard Meyer. And uh, this is the, the, the uh, you know very well, the, the Guggenheim, uh, Guggenheim Museum in, in Bilbao. This film, the fir the, this first film, we, pr we produce ourselves this film, because uh, the new one, the uh, 25 Beast, is, uh, is quite a moment of uh, some changes for our filmography because uh, until this one we produce the film uh, so it means that we 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 pay for this film so we paid everything so we 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 just decided which uh, building we want to film we ask to go there and we stay there and we pay everything and uh, at the end 
we try to we try to to sell the film or to distribute the film. It was it was a very interesting uh, adventure because uh, for the first film we made a, a book, and so we have to as as uh, no one uh, wanted to 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 commission film like this. We, we 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 were obliged to 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 invent a way to distribute our film. So, the first film, uh, Colas Arbor, we had uh, we had uh, we were lucky because uh, we have been uh, selected uh, at the, um, the Venice Biennale in 2008, and so we said, "Wow, the film is selected at the, the Biennale." So we have to make a, a DVD for distribute the film at the, during the Biennale. And so. Uh, during the, the summer, uh, I don't know if you are interested in this, but if you are, if you are, <laughs> I'm, I'm not organized. Maybe I have to read the notes by Louise. <laughs> now, if you are, if you have questions, I, I like I don't like normally the lecture, so it's a little complicated for me. But so if you have some question, I, I'm, uh, I'm happy to answer to your question. I think you told that. Yeah. So we just, uh, just to say why, why Andre told you that we are publisher. Yeah, we are publisher of our, our books, uh, only our books. It's uh, so difficult uh, work to be publisher. But we, make, we made a lot of books. And the first one, so we made the, the, this big book with a, a DVD inside with the film for the, this Biennale. And uh, in the, I, I, I told him, uh, well, today, in the in the first three days of the opening of the Biennale, we, we uh, the, the the libraries of the Biennale sold all the all the books, all the books. It was uh, very surprising. It was uh, an, an incredible uh, news for us. So the the, 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 the library called us, uh, the the bookshop called us, uh, say, can we have uh, five thousand books for tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> five thousand. Yeah, we have sold 1,000 books in three days. <laughs> give, give me, give, give us the others. So we understand, understood that he, there's a, in the, the, the people uh, interested in architecture were very interested to, to watch something different in, uh, in the representation of architecture. So for all the other films, we, we produce, uh, we made uh, um, all the, the books also. And uh, this was the, the way how we, we produce the films. So we, the first film, we, we sold uh, a lot of books. And with, the, with this money, we, we could create, uh, we make, make, make the other films. And the other film also, we made the, film, the books. Uh, so every book could pay the, the other film. So it was in, the, in completely freedom. So we, we, we did what, what we want because we pay for the film. So it, it was very important for us to do this. But then in the 25 bis, uh, it's, uh, they, there was uh, the um, OMA, uh, Rem Colas OMA uh, and uh, Prada, Fondazione Prada. They were preparing uh, an exhibition on Auguste Perret. Uh, uh, they asked us to make a film on the, 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 the main, uh, one of the main buildings of the Guise Perret, the Versailles Bis uh, uh, in Paris. And they, so they call, they, call, they call us and say, they call us, they call us. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and they say, well, we want, we would like to have a film in this beautiful building. Uh, can you make a film? Uh, and say, well, yeah, it was strange for us because uh, we were completely alone until then. And we say, yes, okay, but uh, we would like to make a film as we made before. And it doesn't mean that uh, we make a film and we give you the film finished like this. And they say, yeah, yeah, sure, oh, no, no problem, no problem. And uh, we discovered that a commission like this was b better than work to, to alone. It's, uh, we, uh, we were lucky because, uh, yeah, we made uh, seven film. Uh, Seven film before, but so we stayed there in this uh, in this building for uh, with uh, about uh, three weeks, I think. We lived there for three weeks, and we make this film. And uh, this was the first commission. And started from there, we received uh, many others uh, commission. 
And uh, this is uh, the, the second one. This uh, is um, for the Biennale, Venice Biennale. Yeah, I think it's to, to, um, 2012, the Venice Biennale by Rem Colas. That's funny, like uh, Rem Colas, because uh, Rem Colas, when, the, when we made the first film, I don't know if uh, some of you have seen this film, uh, is not really a flattering film for an architect. But, but we, we finished the film, the film was completely finished, and we asked to Ren Colas to show him the film. So we, he, he accepted to, to watch the film, and we went to his office in uh, Rotterdam, and uh, we wait for him for four hours, I think. We had an appointment, at, I think, at 1 p.m. He came, he came at, yeah, at 5 or 6 or p.m. So we prepared the, the, the computer like this to watch the film and the camera just to film the, the interview with him. It's filming also him watching the film. So five or five, five, four, 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 five hours later, he, he finally comes. And he starts to watch, watch uh, the film. He, at the beginning, uh, was he was surprised for, by this film. He, just, he asked, uh, why is it raining? It's always raining in the film. <laughs> and he said, I don't know, it was raining. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but why you film uh, when it's raining? Yeah, it, it, because it's raining. <laughs> yeah, but normally you film when there is the sun, no? Uh, no. <laughs> so things like this, and but at the end he he was very impressed by the film. I don't know in which way, but we made we made a DVD with the the, the interview, so you, you you can view this interview. And um, so at the beginning we thought that uh, the relation wasn't very good, so say say okay what, but. When they, 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 they call, us, call us for making the other film, say, wow, it's, it's very interesting because we started with uh, Ren Colas and now he's calling us to make some uh, films about other buildings. So we understood that he was the, we were building something, uh, a, a sort of uh, way of, uh, personal way of watching the, the the, 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 the space and the, the relation us with the, the space. And uh, in this case, he asked to, to, uh, to work with, uh, in, in a building uh, by Stefano Boeri in, uh, in Sardinia, in Italy. And it was very interesting because uh, for the first time we worked uh, on a building that uh, was completely abandoned. There was no, no one inside. It's a, it's a crazy story, I don't, I don't tell you the story so long, but uh, this building, uh, Stefano Boeri designed this building for, uh, for the G8, for a G8 uh, meeting, and the building was completely, it, the, the building was completely finished, uh, but just, uh, I think, 15 days before the opening, in Italy there was an earthquake in uh, Ad Ancona, Berlusconi decided to, to move the G8 from, from here to the, to, to the city that uh, was destroyed by the earthquake. Very popular decision. <laughs> and, and so this building, this big building, it's a, it's a complex of buildings, more buildings, was completely abandoned. And finished, completely finished with furniture inside, everything inside. And uh, it's, 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 it's still now, so there's a, it's completely, it's new, brand new, but completely uh, uh, abandoned. So he, he asked to, 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 to film this, this, uh, this building. And so we, we decided to, to try to talk about uh, Stefano Boeri, about this kind of uh, uh, sensation of an architect that is, uh, won't create an, an, an icon, because uh, won't create a building that is, uh, very strong uh, image that uh, an image that has to to represent uh, all the, the the work, and this icon is is falling uh, is falling in the water. And uh, 
in, in the, this is in, uh, in, uh, in an island in, the, uh, in the La Maddalena, the, no, the name of the island is La Maddalena, and in the, that's the story, just to understand the story. In, the, in, in front of this island, there is another island, it's called Budelli, where this guy uh, lives uh, alone, it's a sort of hermit, is is just in front. You can say you can see you can see in this picture. Uh, this uh, is in front. I don't know if uh, the, what, yeah. Okay, this is the two islands, one uh, front of the other. In the other island, you have the the, the new complex with the new buildings. And in this island, he lives with with a anything. He lives uh, completely alone. Uh, just uh, uh, yeah, with, with anything. But. There's, there's a, there's, as the, the building uh, in front of this island is falling in the water, there are pieces that are falling in the water. These pieces are, are coming to his island with, uh, with the, the sea. The sea pushes the, the, all the pieces in his island, so he, he can find with the, this kind of uh, paint in, uh, in his shoulders. He goes uh, all, all, all around his island uh, looking for the pieces that they are coming from the other, the other building in front. And uh, with, with, with these pieces, it creates uh, the furniture. So uh, you, you can see here. You can see that you have the pieces from the ashes and pieces from the, the other building. So when I want to take a, pole, a, a rest, I will put here a film. This is the building that is falling down. Certamente questa è stata una storia di, di, di spreco e di distorsione dell'investimento pubblico dei soldi dei cittadini. Quindi in un certo senso quel luogo è destinato o a diventare il simbolo di uno dei più grandi disastri della politica estera italiana tale sarà, oppure è destinato a rappresentare una, uno dei grandi episodi in cui invece l'Italia si rilancia, si rilancia a partire anche dagli errori e dagli insuccessi ed è quello che io spero succeda. Poi è evidente che appunto io non, non voglio nascondere il fatto che sono stato partecipe attivo di una vicenda che all'oggi è un sostanziale successo, ma direi quasi una truffa. Adesso, adesso come adesso ovviamente io sento questa cosa come una, una specie di buco nero nella, nella mia storia professionale e nella mia storia anche privata, nel senso che è una, è una, una catastrofe, spero reversibile. Cioè non, purtroppo oggi non ci sono elementi positivi. Quello che io potrò imparare da questa cosa, o quel mio contributo, sarà comunque a partire da un rilievo di un successo, perché alla fine non c'è giustificazione che tenga. Io, Comunque sono stato progettista di opere che oggi sono in uno stato d'abbandono, che hanno eh, avuto subito, come dire, goduto di un investimento formidabile, eh, che hanno di fatto accettato dei processi delinquenziali, legali, criminali, che hanno tolto soldi pubblici, quindi tolti a tutti i cittadini. E quindi io non voglio mollarla questa cosa, non ho nessuna intenzione di abbandonarlo, questo edificio, questo progetto, perché... perché perché mi sento anche responsabile rispetto a questo progetto. Mi sento responsabile dei suoi elementi positivi, ma mi sento anche corresponsabile dei suoi elementi negativi, pur avendoli subiti io per primo, perché forse solamente, anche solamente di fatto economico è stato un, un disastro per me, è stato un vero e proprio disastro. So, uh, as Louise says very, very well, we initiated this research questioning the limits of representation of a masterpiece. What can be shown? Until where can we go in the representation? Why should an image always aim beauty and perfection? Why hid hiding the normal disorder of life? So, we are very interested in this. This was a case, a very interesting case also for, for, for this. For this. So we, we continue 
to our film. This is an experience, experience in uh, on the on the um, Tour Eiffel in, in Paris. We stay one day in the Tour Eiffel. We we, we made uh, our first vertical film. So we started <laughs> we start uh, at the at the just at the beginning of the day down, and we we went we went uh, the. the at the, at the top, uh, this go at the end. We wanted to work uh, with um, about the, the perception of uh, an, an icons by by the uh, just an uh, touristic icons. But I don't show you this. This is was a, uh, another another commission in the like like all the others, and it was very interesting for us because uh, it was the first time we should we could uh, work on a larger scale. We uh, at the beginning we didn't did uh, we didn't did uh, we didn't thought, uh, think uh, about this, but uh, we started uh, our film with a, a very small scale of a house, and uh, every film it was a, a different scale because we wanted just to to understand how this approach works in uh, in, in a larger scale. So we started with a house. And now, now we are going to the, the, um, a square. It's like a, a, lit, a very little piece of a, of a city. And at the end, you will see now we are walking over the big city. So we, it's just, a, as I'm, I'm an architect, so we started from, a, it's, <laughs> it's like a SM, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and I'm, I'm realizing now that we are making SM, L, XL. Uh, I don't know if you, some of you understand this. Uh, this is a private joke, <laughs> but uh, this is uh, um, uh, 20, 24 uh, hours uh, on on the square, 24 hours plus. So we work on the, in this this square, and we stayed in the, in this square for 24 hours. So we started to film uh, the square at six o'clock in the morning. And we film uh, for one day, for 24 hours, until the six or seven, seven from seven to seven, on the the the, the, the day after. So during 24 hours, uh, watch uh, how this this square uh, is uh, lived by uh, by the people that stay in, in this place. This was a commission that was very interesting for us because uh, it was uh, they asked it to make this film. 40 years after a film by Louis Mal, Louis Mal, Louis, Louis Mal, he uh, is, um, is a documentary film about uh, the La Place de la République at Paris. It's the same, the same place, uh, square. And uh, so they wanted to, to we make a film, a, a quite a similar film uh, in the same square, but 40 years uh, later. Uh, so uh, Louis Mal uh, spent ten, 10 days on the filming, filming only during the day. Uh, we decided just to, to understand how this place changed during the during the, the, the day. And uh, so this is the place. And and here we start to uh, to util use uh, um, d um, plans and drawings to. To explain a, a little bit better, it's like uh, Guadalupe, the film of Guadalupe, or like uh, we draw the the, the, the path. And th here we, we just for, for every fragment, because the film is made by I, I, all the film we make are made by little fragments, because we, we, we like this, and uh, it's a very very it gives us a lot of freedom to work like this. So these are all the people that we we met, and we talked with them. So we have a sort of cartography of the ordinary, the ordinarity, the cartography of ordinarity. We are, we we like uh, Perec Perec a lot. So we try to to understand with uh, with the little movement of the people, just talking with the people, how this this place, this this square, became a sort of. Uh, a psychological uh, space. So, so, how is the relation with all these people? So, you understand a lot when you you see the everything uh, on the on the on the drawing like this. And we made. Uh, so, we show. We, show uh, we don't show you this. We show you the next one. And uh, 
when they uh, I don't know if I have this don't know here okay uh, after after this one the Barbican Center in London uh, call us for making a film in the Barbican that is a very very um, is a, a huge uh, building complex of building uh, brutalist building in the center of London where they have uh, I think uh, 400 uh, apartments so a lot of people living there and so they, they wanted that we make a film uh, in, in, this, in this complex so we stayed there also for this film for a month we, ta we, take, we took uh, an apartment and uh, we just start to live uh, as the, the Barbie Canyons they say as the Barbie Canyons and talking with the people uh, like this, and uh, for for this in, for this case, we we try to 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 build another system. It is a chronological system. Um, that is this one. This is the Barbican. This uh, this complex. So one month we we'll spend uh, 31 day inside and making a fragment every day. It's a sort of uh, little uh, observation of the of the, the place every day. It could be uh, um, a, a observation of architecture or the light, just the light, or just uh, or, or something, or a person, or some people you met, you meet, or everything it could be everything completely free, but try to 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 give at the end the the the, the atmosphere that in is in this place and uh, in the 31 31 uh, fragments we so we meet uh, some people and one of these people is regina that this is our the fragment the 31 fragment so you see all the people we we met and uh, just to understand uh, ent entering in the in the in the apartment and uh, to, to try to, to say that a building is not made by walls, but is made by the people that stay inside. And uh, just talking about these people, you can understand how the building is evolving, because maybe the, the walls are the same, but the, the building is not the same. And this Sorry. is Re Regina. You have a Excuse me, yeah. Ah, I've got a question over here. Yeah, I can take a rest. Um, thank you, <laughs> thank very you very much for the presentation so far. It's, it's really interesting to. Um, I'm sorry, it's not finished. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I no, know just you a quick question. You would, but no, no, it's been really interesting. About this film, Barbicanian, and actually about all the others, how much of it is scripted before you get to a place like this? Because if you have 13 one days and you have 31 moments, did you know which moments you wanted to film? Did they come up quite organically? Uh, What's the process? We, we script, script uh, when you say scripted, you say script what uh, what to do, you know? Yeah. That, that kind of script oh. in, in cinema. Yeah. I hate scripts. <laughs> so nothing. Nothing. <laughs> no. No, we, don't, we can't do this because, uh, you, you know, we go there, we take, a, we, we took an apartment, so they, 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 find, they found uh, an apartment for us. So we had an apartment there. So we lived there for one month and uh, started from uh, the beginning for the first day. We just say, okay, we are highs and years. We are inside and now we just start to observe. So if you script something, you have uh, an idea of what, what you have to do. So you give, so it's your mind that gives you the, the direction for your for your task, for your, the direction. But we didn't want this. We want just to, is is this like sort of derive uh, the situationist. Uh, say you, 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 have, you, have, you, are, you are in a place, you just walk, uh, see what uh, happen, uh, happening uh, around you, and you say, wow, have you seen this? Let's go see this. We work like this, we work like this. So all the people that we met, is that the people, this, this fantastic lady, we met this fantastic lady because uh, in the Barbican there was a um, hairdressing, it's a, there's a shop of hairdressing. So when we saw this uh, hairdressing, we, 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 we went inside to talk with the lady that uh, cut the, the hair to all the, the, all, the, all the ladies of the Barbican. 
So we thought that uh, she was a fantastic character. So we say, wow, maybe we can go to talk with her to film her. And when we were there, Regina came in, came inside to look at her. So we stay like that. Wow, <laughs> so, so beautiful. And so we, we just talked with her. And uh, one hour later, when she just finished to cut her hair, we, we, we went to his, her house. So it was just like this. I'm sorry. It's just you meet someone and you go in, inside and inside. So we work like this. We just uh, we we can script. We can script because uh, if we script, we, uh, I, I told her uh, if you script, it's, it's like a, it's something because I uh, I'm Italian, but I, I I lived for 20 years in France. In France, when you ask for grants to make a film, for a documentary film, they want a script. And I also always uh, thought that it's completely stupid to ask a script when you make a, a, a documentary. Because you can say, yes, I want to make a, a, a documentary about this. But you don't know what you will find. If you, if you know everything, you will make your film. But we don't make our film. We make the film about what is happening there. Of how we try to do it. So, so no. So no, we don't have a script. With no script, this is something that Frederick Wiseman uh, talks a lot. Yeah. Um, is he an in influence for you? Yes, uh, I'll, yeah, for sure. I like Wiseman a lot, but uh, we are a, li a little bit different because uh, Wiseman is is very interesting because Wiseman film. Uh, he was the first one to film this. His film is like he's not inside. He's a, an objective uh, way, an objective point of view. Very objective. You don't you don't know who is filming. You don't know. He's he's completely invisible. You just see the things that have happened, uh, and uh, everything is uh, like this. We are we are inside the inside the the, the, the the, not not the image, or some, sometimes always, uh, or some also in, inside the image. But we are inside the the, the the moment. You feel you feel if you if you I think uh, if you watch our film, you feel our presence. You feel that we are we are there. We are talking with her. We are talking a lot with the people. So there's a there's a conversation. Is not in, there are not interview, but there are not like Wiseman. The, observation very 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 cold observation there's a there's an interaction there's a very strong interaction because uh, we because it's it's uh, we don't want to make a, a film uh, that is uh, uh, as we say mm, we don't want to explain or, or show something uh, in like a absolute view we want to sh just show what is happening in this moment between us and her. Not filming us because we are not interesting. Filming her because she's very interesting. <laughs> but is 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 something uh, happening between between us? So is Wiseman uh, is not really a reference for this. Maybe Jean Rouge, maybe more. But uh, but obviously we like a lot. Uh, um, do you feel a difference between when you live in the building that you're filming and the ones that you don't live? For example, you didn't live in the in the house of Kulis, but you lived in the Barbican Center. We 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 live for a little moment, so we don't live uh, actually like like, like the, the the inhabitants. But if you stay, we need time to make this film. We need a lot of time. We can, we can make a film in five minutes to uh, go in there and talk in, uh, what, what do you think about this? Uh, we need to stay for a long time. So if you stay one day, maybe that, that's maybe interesting about uh, the, 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 the question about the script. We don't make script, but we can see in the, in the, in the chronological order of the days that we, what we can film at the beginning and what we can film at the end. And you can see that uh, at the end, you film things maybe you can enter 
more than the, the beginning. So we need time to, to understand how it, it works because we, are, we, we spend a lot of time during the day just observing how the, the place is, uh, is, is working. You, you can go in, uh, everywhere, everywhere, and just stay in, a, in a, maybe here in, in the city or in a building. You just stay for one, two, three, four, year, four hours in a place, and you just observe. You observe, and you, you can understand how, how, how it, is, it works, this place. You know that in a, pla in a, in a square you, you see a man coming, and he's going, and another one is coming. And you, you make relation between, and you understand everything. But you need time. If you go in a place for five minutes, you, you can understand. But if you stay longer, you know, one day, two, two days, three days, four days, you, know, you see, wow, have you seen this, this, this lady? is coming every time, every, every day at the same hour. She comes, she comes to give, to feed the, uh, the, the, the animals, the cats. Uh, ah, wow, have you seen the other? So you understand everything. Like uh, you, you need to, 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 to stay inside the building for, for say this. But you know, see to, to observe because there are a lot of uh, inhabitants that don't, they don't know this. They just uh, stay inside for five years and say, wow, have you seen this? I've never seen this. Oh, not this one because it is in the city. But, mm -hmm. but look, look this, uh, she's, she's very funny. Oh, I do. I am addicted. Really? To color, yeah. I have every color you can imagine. And this room, I colored from the green of the background there and the color of Marilyn's face. So it's a genuine Andy Warhol. Oh, well, the queen, um, I, I, have, I have worked at Buckingham Palace. Yeah, and the French Embassy. They were, uh, I worked in the garden party office. You know, there are garden parties for a year. And when I first went there, this is now 30 years ago, um, we hand wrote 40,000 invitations. But we loved it, you know. The meaning of my name, Regina, <laughs> Queen, yeah. But um, it isn't Queen for royalty, it's for religion. You know, Mary, the mother of Jesus, yeah, because I'm Roman Catholic. You're fantastic. Your friend? Excuse me, Ma. <laughs> I know at the palace, you know, some of the staff used to say, Oh, good morning, Your Majesty. You know, Regina, yeah. Good morning, Your Majesty. Oh, they were so funny, so cute. Anyway, that's, that's fun, isn't it? I think it was um, V&A, you know, about £1.50 or something. <laughs> and then Loic, you know, my adorable little Loic. He gave me this. This is for, um, it had a, 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 a smell. When I saw this card at an exhibition, I thought, what an excellent likeness. <laughs> also hoping that it would remind you of the three happy summers we spent guiding at Clarence House with love, Anne. So what a, a likeness, yeah. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mr. President. <laughs> Marilyn is more than a queen. She... I, I, I think that Marilyn was a very gifted lady, but the men wanted her as a sex idol. Yeah. He, um, yeah, this is a lovely Warhol. I like the paintings of Andy Warhol.
So this was a, just uh, after the Barbicania. We, we work on uh, another building. Uh, the, bar uh, the Barbican is from the 60s. Uh, but this one is uh, a building from, uh, I think they finished the building in uh, four, five, five years ago, four years ago. It's in Copenhagen and uh, it's made by BRK Ingels. Uh, BRK Ingels uh, uh, wanted to make a film, uh, want to we make a film uh, in this building. So uh, they, is this is, is like the same as for Barbicane, so they found uh, an apartment where we live for a month. And, um, and there's a, well, I would like to show you a fragment. This is it's interesting to understand uh, how we can discover the space, like a little bit like uh, Guadalupe, uh, discover the space with uh, just following the, the users. It's a, a very interesting way to, to take a tour uh, to understand how it works. This is the building, a very strange building. Ah, and uh, in this film also we, we use the, um, the map, this map, to show every fragment where it, where it had, be, had been uh, filmed. You know, the, the, the big lines, uh, the circle, is uh, because we, we took a, a plane to uh, just make a tour um, above the, the, the building. Han siger, han hedder noget andet. Han siger, hej piger. Jeg hedder Jack O'Lantern. Min dyrbare skat er blevet stjålet. Og I skal hjælpe mig med at finde den. Jeg så ham, der stjal den. Han har en hvid kappe på. Og det drøser hvidt fra knoglen på hans ene ben. Det drøser hvidt fra hans ben. Knoglen. Du ved, så er der ikke noget på benet, så har han bare sådan en knogle, og så drøsser den. Hej piger. Har I fundet tyven? Nej. Hvad med? Hvad hvis vi går op på otte-tallet? Hvad hvis vi går op ad trappen? Lala, prøv lige her. Prøv lige alle piger at høre efter. Ja. Det, det er en skattejagt, og det er en leg, og alt sammen er noget, jeg har fundet på. Ikke? Okay? Ja. They, they are scared. Wow. It's, too, it's too scary a treasure hunt. Hvad var det? Det var kraven. Jeg kan ikke. Skal jeg prøve at binde op? Ja. Piger. Nå, for Søren. Har I stadigvæk ikke fanget ham? Nej! Okay, nu har I let oppe. Der var han ikke. Tror I, vi skal lede nede? For eksempel et sted under jorden? Yeah. Ja! Nede i kælderen! Det var en god idé! Nede i kælderen, hvordan kommer vi derned? Tag elevatoren!
So we are approaching the end. <laughs> Do you have some question? No, the last one. No. So after that, we um, we worked on the um, Fondazione Prada, Milano, and uh, this was a, a quite different work film because uh, they asked to work uh, during a, a month, one month always, but. Uh, before the building, so it was uh, during the construction, uh, the, the last month of the construction of the building, and uh, we decided to work uh, with the workers, to stay with the workers for, uh, for a month, and we made uh, 15 uh, fragments with them, and uh, tried to, to keep something that is, uh, this was very interesting because uh, normally, we worked in uh, on the life of the building. So it, it means that you have a, uh, you have a, a building that uh, with the people inside, so the life is uh, already there. And uh, here, there's a life that is going to disappear. So the workers, uh, we just it, it was the last month, so it was from uh, 30 days before the the opening. So at the opening, every every one of these people uh, disappear. Like a phon like a, um, phantoms, uh, yeah, so we wanted to to capture this this kind of uh, uh, the this this kind of energy that it was in, on the air, and uh, that is now is completely disappeared. So we made some uh, fragment. One of this is uh, we show you because uh, it, it it talks uh, about this kind of uh, energy that they have this because. Uh, we, when we were there, like about uh, the, the question of script, we just uh, we we, we walk, uh, watching watching the the workers. Uh, we noticed that all the workers, all the, uh, a lot of workers, uh, sometimes they stay like this. I don't know if you you can walk the, uh, watch this or all, all the workers around the world. Sometimes when they are tired, maybe or don't know. They stay. They stay like this. So they 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 just <laughs> they watch the sky. So we 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 ask them, what are what what are what are watching in the sky? You know, there's something in the sky. There's something uh, I don't know. Uh, something that's all all uh, only the workers watch. Uh, they, they they only workers can see this. <laughs> uh, we can't see it. But so we 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 ask to to when we. When we find uh, when we found uh, some uh, workers doing this, we just ask, "Can you do it again?" And we, we, it just take five seconds, uh, ten, ten seconds, seconds of you watching uh, this this thing that we don't know what is it. So this is uh, the, the 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 idea of this fragment.
Yeah, this is a uh, thing we work on in the city of Bordeaux and uh, was a larger scale than the square. It's a, it's a very a big uh, piece of the, the city. I go. I, I, we made also here, as you see, the. So this is the the sort of stylization of the drawing of the the, the river, and uh, this is all the people that we we met. And I don't show you this. This is interesting. As a friend we made it also always in, uh, in Copenhagen, and uh, we find this guy. Uh, um, this was very interesting for how our relationship our, with the, not only this, uh, the, the house, but the space is changing. He's, uh, this is a, a guy that is living in Copenhagen, uh, he's living in the hotels. He changes, uh, he changes the hotels every night, almost. And, uh, but he has a seven, he's, uh, he's the owner of seven apartments in Copenhagen, but he, he rent all the apartments by Airbnb or other, other platform. And uh, he makes this from, uh, from the hotels and uh, he, 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 he has no belongings, so he has nothing for anything for, for him. And uh, he has just an application at, uh, at six or seven uh, in the afternoon, he puts uh, in the he asks the application, where is the the hotel, the the higher hotel in uh, in quality that ha has the the lower price, because uh, with the the Airbnb and all the this uh, platform renting platform, the hotels uh, now he says this, but I think is uh, is everywhere like this. If you call a, 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 a hotel, an hotel uh, uh, at this at seven, they have a lot of uh, rooms that are free, so you can deal a, a, a hotel for for uh, for very 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 low price. So he changes every time uh, every time uh, his hotel. And in this film, uh, we had an appointment with him in this uh, in this hotel <laughs> where he was staying. And he, he was just uh, explaining us why he came to, to make this uh, kind of life. And uh, I don't know if uh, this is the, uh, I think it's uh, just uh, the trailer, but I think about uh, from the trailer we can understand uh, the, the, the story. So this, is the, this is him talking during the film, and this is the, one of the, 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 the flat that he's renting. And this is, yeah. Because uh, that's very interesting. This is he, this is him. Because uh, uh, he understood that when he, when he started to to rent his apartment, he understood that uh, as he was uh, not typical uh, Danish. Yeah, because he, he, he's he's not Danish, but he's not typical physically uh, Danish. He understood that he. He would, it would be it would better for to have the high high level of renting. Uh, um, um, I don't know, you know, when you can rent to 99 percent of your, your your flat, and so he create a fake uh, family. Uh, so he took a name, a typical uh, Danish name, and he he bought. This picture from a, a platform on the on the internet, and uh, he changed his uh, his profile with the, with this family, and but, but behind this family is him that is uh, renting, and uh, now he has uh, for seven apartment he has uh, seven uh, profiles different profiles, one profile for family and another one for the, uh, an artist for another one for everything so he can. Uh, he can, uh, and uh, this what is very interesting because uh, he's, he's explaining everything during the film. And so you mean that you don't have a house anymore? I used to have a house, I used to have a wife, I used to have a career, a job, uh, but that's not the case. Uh, yeah. I discovered the, the, the home renting platform mm -hmm. and uh, my wife and I, we wanted to make a little bit of uh, extra money like everybody. Imagine, you are in your, your home, your bed, and you saw pictures of your bed when you are with your wife, 
and you saw pictures of people wearing clothes, kissing each other, <laughs> and having sex with your wife on the well. Cameras. Yeah, little see. cameras that you put, can put them in the, in the painting, in this wall, uh, the better. The best, the best place to put uh, a tiny uh, spy camera is in the TV. My wife and I, we became a little bit obsessed uh, by the situation and we spent whole how Saturday evening <laughs> um, in the hotels uh, on the bed watching the live stream in our house. I say, I, I'm selling dreams, short dreams, customized dreams. So you can say it's business. For me, it's just I fulfill uh, a desire. So he brought with his wife because uh, that is 20, 20 minutes long the film. So as you can understand, uh, yeah, yeah, he, he just. It was, uh, they, they started to rent the house and at the end uh, they, they was shocked by the people that go inside and uh, use everything, all the belongings. So now he, he want to finish with the belongings and anything. Uh, so we are almost at the end. This is a, a film that we made uh, um, last summer in Tokyo. This for us it was very interesting because it's a, a kind of a, a relation very strong with the first film. Uh, it's a house by Ryo Nishizawa, the of Sana, and uh, this is the Moriyama House. It's a very known, uh, uh, very famous uh, house, and uh, it's very interesting because uh, it's a house, but in the same time it's a city, because uh, we are going to the exile. So, so the big scale, but being a house, uh, it had be it has been conceived as a as a city. So it's a it's a house uh, composed by uh, made by ten blocks, ten white blocks, and uh, in each block uh, you have a, um, in one block you have the, the the toilet, in one block you have a room, in one block, and you have to 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 exit to go out from one block to enter in the other block and uh, uh, inside uh, the blocks there's a g very big garden so the, with trees uh, and uh, and uh, moriyama san lives in four uh, of these blocks and uh, he rent rents the the other blocks to other people so it's a strange house made by little little uh, build buildings so it's sort of community and, uh, and, and he is a very, very interesting uh, person. So I stay there alone because I uh, stay with uh, uh, more than one person. It was uh, more than one, it was impossible. So I stay with him uh, for a week. And uh, it, was, it was very, very strange, very interesting uh, experience for me. And uh, I will show you the, the, the trailer. This is the, so this not really like this, but it's like a, a little, almost like this. The, uh, yeah, you can see here the, the blocks. And uh, this is a, a roof, just a roof of a block, but where are the people that live in this place, in this house, they can go there to take a tea or to have a tea or to or just to, to talk like uh, on, the, on the roof like this. So a little bit dangerous to see a uh, house, but... Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs>
I, I forgot to I forgot to tell you that <laughs> the the important thing about this film is the mu noise music because uh, he's a passionate he's a, an expert of noise music uh, as I am too we we spent uh, seven days listening this kind of music <laughs> so it's a it's a quite a radical film uh, it, it's not a case that is in in Japan and so we we, we we, I, I love to stay in this place, so we are going to, in January, uh, Louise uh, and uh, our family, so I and the family, we are going to, to Japan for six months to work, to work for a new project that we started this year, that is uh, Om Urbanus, that's the last one. And uh, it's, a, it's a big project uh, on filming the, 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 the cities. Uh, big cities. It's a little bit complicated. I, I, I know you are tired. I'm tired too. So I will explain you very fast. We try to understand what is the part, the the, the specificity uh, of a city. And does it mean uh, what kind, what uh, the, the 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 common space, the public, not not really the public space in architectural meaning, but the the space we in common, so the streets and everything is outside. How this space in a, in a, in a city change, like in all the other films, change your behavior. Uh, what makes you, uh, a, like in your case, a, a Lisbon man, Lisbon person, or, or a Na 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 Neapolitan man, or what makes uh, someone of a city uh, Typical of this city. So, we d we understood that. Well, I understood. We don't know if we understand something, but we f we think that uh, this kind of indiv um, individuality is uh, is going to disappear because uh, because of a lot of things. Because uh, because of the city, the, the city is uh, is going to to be a ge uh, more and more a generic city. If you, uh, we made we made a film uh, in Seoul, and if you go to Seoul, the 90% of Seoul, uh, or, or the, the very known uh, uh, neighborhood of Gangnam in Seoul, if you go there, if you don't watch the, the people, that they are, they are different, you can feel that you are in Los Angeles or another, or another typical city, not typical, uh, generical city. So. There's something that is uh, that creates uh, a specificity of uh, of a city. Uh, we want to film this like uh, an anthropological uh, uh, work, like a Jean, like I'd say Jean Rouge, like going in this place to try to to film what is going to to disappear and. Um, and uh, maybe I can show you this. It's, uh, it's, uh, we just finished this film, so there's five films of one year, one hour long each, and this is maybe a little bit longer. But we will see if it's if it's too long. It's seven minutes, but uh, maybe it's long. I don't, don't know if you are tired. But you can understand from I I I choose uh, I choose uh, Napoli because that's uh, from my country. And uh, if you if you can see in this in this uh, kind of uh, this this fragment, we go in, in on the street and we make the same thing. But uh, in the other film, a film uh, we stay, we live in the place, and there we go uh, living in the street. We stay in the street. We try to understand how the the street works, and uh, what with, uh, what are the the part. The, the, the things that you can do in this city and not in the other. You will see in, uh, in Naples, there's something that I don't know in Lisbon, I don't think that you can find this in Lisbon, but the, in, a, in a sort of uh, architectural point of view, you, you will find things uh, we, I can explain that is so 
yeah, this is uh, St. Petersburg, is, not, is another one of the films. Yeah, we made five, five, five films of uh, uh, Na uh, Naples, Naples, St. Petersburg, Bogota, Seoul, and uh, Rabat, Rabat in uh, Morocco. Sorry. Excuse me. Sorry. Hello? <laughs> Sorry. Just a very simple question. Is it a hidden camera or is it... Uh, no, no, no. It's a, it's a normal camera? Yeah, yeah. No, it's not hidden. No. I'm sorry, I was sleeping. Mari. 
Obviously, this is completely Ill illegal. Being Neapolitan is wonderful. So, so this was made for uh, an exhibition. It was not really for uh, cinema, for a movie theater. And uh, it was the five films uh, shown in, in the same time for the five cities. So, so everything like shows things like this that is going to disappear. The other question. So this is the last, so the, the last is empty because uh, we are working on. <laughs> so uh, you thought that it was another one. No. <laughs> no, it's really. Now may make a, a, little, a little last question if you want. Yeah. But then, like the, in the other movie, in the second one, you said that an architect said that this was like a rape to buildings. So it was like kind of the other way around, that life was somehow like raping or controlling the architecture. Do you, did you build some kind of like idea of how you should design an architecture, how you should live it? Did it change somehow? Like, 
how in, you see architecture? In my opinion. Yeah, yeah, your personal opinion. Uh, how to, to look, how architects have to work to... Either, do you have an opinion of how you should design or how you should ah. live architecture, I don't know. With, no. the, with the movies that you wrote, that you made. No, I don't have a, an opinion, no. No, I don't know. You know, it's, uh, it's not, it's not uh, I don't think it's something uh, interesting for architects. <laughs> yes, maybe it is very interesting, but not, not for designing. I don't know if you can understand something to put in your design, if your project. You just, maybe I think is, I will be very happy if you can just, to, architects could be a little bit more sensible about the humanity and, and a little bit less about the design. And uh, just this, I don't know how to do it, but I think I thought when I was studying the architecture that uh, there's a lot of design, so uh, the design is very important and the people that stay inside is not really. What you see in the magazine, the architecture magazine and the films and things, in the iconic architecture is something very beautiful, uh, not always, but uh, they say that's very beautiful. <laughs> and uh, you never talk about uh, the, you talk little because you, when you when you make a project and you make a design for a building, building, you start thinking about what people can do inside. That's the beginning. But at the end, what you a, a lot of architects, at the end, uh, what they have in mind is the the cover of the magazine, with uh, their beautiful uh, their beautiful uh, design, and. Uh, I don't know. Is it, there's a, there's there's a, there's some some very very good architects and some some very bad architects, but it's not our problem. So it's just what we would we want to understand is maybe I I, I always say that uh, I would be happy if uh, we could uh, educate uh, learn to the children the kids at school what it is to stay in a place and in a space. What is your interaction with space because we don't know what is it we don't we don't have an education about this about uh, how to to even for your if you have kids for my daughter or my son i would like that to explain if you have a, your little room just try to understand that this is your room your space and you make everything anything you want to be better in, inside this space if you I think I don't know if it's like this, but I think if you if we can uh, teach our kids this, when uh, they go, they start moving everything in the in the in the room, just uh, the bed, take the bed and put the bed there, because uh, you because you think that uh, you put the bed here, so you can uh, is the best way to stay in this place in the room for your for your for your for your son. Because uh, the, the the tables is perfect here, no? It's, it's quite stupid this kind of uh, discussion. But you think this, but you you decide this. But when when he stays in, inside the room, and uh, you think he's sleeping, but he's not sleeping. He's just uh, looking around. <laughs> and looking around, there's a, in the night there's a beautiful beautiful light coming from the outside. That makes some uh, drawing in uh, on the on the wall. He, he, he can't see it, no, because uh, you put uh, his head there. <laughs> so maybe he wanted just to turn the, the bed and just watch to, to this drawing. And he's happy, no, like this. But the, 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 the happiness is not because uh, he, he, see, he sees the, the drawing. His happiness because he decided to, to have a, relation, a real relation with the space. And maybe uh, my, my, daughter, my daughter asked me, a lot of time, can I have a, a double, double uh, bed? You know the uh, um, castle bed. I don't know in Italian it's castle bed. Mm -hmm. uh, because I, uh, I would like to, to sleep uh, uh, up and not not <laughs> not down. They say, yeah, baby, you are alone. Yeah, but I want I want this. <laughs> and maybe um, tomorrow I will I will buy this castle. <laughs> Because this is a kind of uh, education to the space, no? Because uh, from there, 
she, she can she can watch down and watch. Uh, so it's a sort of uh, appropriation of the space. And when the when the kid when the a child can do this, after that, he opens the door and say, Ah, Dad, if we can change this in the in the living room, and changes this and uh, ah, you can change this in on the street and so you you f you start to have an education to space and we don't have this we, we never think about this so we just wanted to to show this how the people interact with the space but they without because if you if you we, we talk with a lot of in, in 24 or 20 24 films we talk with a lot, a lot of people, and everyone has something to say about everything. But just because you ask them, if you don't ask them, they they don't think about it. So you had, we maybe we need this. So maybe to, uh, to an architect, I, I'm, I'm not really interested what architect can do, but uh, I'm interested in how we can do ourselves to to impose to the architects uh, what to do. Me? Yeah. N n no, not to. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I, 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 I can't say, I say filmmaker, but I'm not, uh, not really, uh, what I'd say, uh, my, my, my way of seeing things like this is like a, Filming is because I film with Luis. We, we make film because it's the, for us, is the uh, most easy way to, to do this. But maybe if, uh, if I could write, maybe I could do it the same. But uh, I'm interested in, in space. I'm interested in architecture because uh, it's our living, because we live all the 24 hours a day in, in architecture, in, uh, in, uh, in a build world so I, because I studied also architecture it was my passion one of my passion but maybe you can do the same with other 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 things and for me it's easier because I take a little camera when you ask me it's a it's, a, it's not a hidden camera but it's, it's a small camera and it just with this I, I can I can have a, a relation very very fast with the people and i need i need to, to talk with the people to understand but you can you can also write or anything else but i don't know what i am do you, do you know what you are <laughs> <laughs> what you are Rich eye. <laughs> what? I, I think you have to. You have to. Uh, you need a translator if you talk in Italian. I can understand you, but uh, the other, I don't know. Well, I, a, la, la domanda la faccio in italiano. Posso dopo tradurla in portoghese? Ah, okay. Um, qual è la data esatta del, del primo film che avete fatto? 2008. Yeah, I think so. Because it's been seven or seven. Mm. Yeah, it, it was at yeah, the Biennale 2008. Stavo ripensando a quella pubblicazione di Domus. Post occupancy, yeah. Okay, to 2006. Yeah, yeah, because we talk about uh, rent callers about post occupancy. Oh, okay. Perché realmente quello che è molto affascinante del vostro lavoro è l'utilizzo dell'architettura come pretesto per raccontare storie. Cioè, noi vediamo l'architettura... You are going to make a big, big, disc, uh, big uh, speech in Italian. <laughs> yeah, there's people that are going out. Thank you very much. <laughs> so. I work very hard to, to keep the people here, and now... <laughs> <laughs> and now, thanks to you, everybody's going. That's Italian. Typical. <laughs> Try to, to speak English. <laughs> <laughs> but
but it's better than yours. Yes, uh, better, totally better. The, the, yes, it's, it's, my English is terrible. Uh, of, of this. I feel solidarity for you because yes. you, I prefer speaking in We Portuguese, Italians speak, speak very bad English, but it's very, speak with it's your hands like you do in Italy. I prefer speaking, <laughs> well, well um, I think um, the construction of your filmography is very interesting uh, for, for, me, for my, for I, for, 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 me, for, for I, it's <laughs> fantastic, uh, okay, uh, because um, architecture is only a, a, a pretext. It's pretext. Pretext. Thank you. I understand uh, pretext. Uh, this, the, um, the people is a very... Can, can, could you speak in, in Portuguese? Yeah. Like, because I, I understand Portuguese. Oh, wow. Uh. <laughs> extremamente mais fácil. Um, queria, queria dizer que realmente a história que contamos uh, acerca do, 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 do como é que o, o filme foi feito, conseguimos já ver uh, a história de pessoas que sobressai a arquitetura. Ou seja, a arquitetura, fundamentalmente, é só um pretexto para, para contar histórias. Hum. Conseguimos já ver uh, como é que funciona a arquitetura através da utilização das próprias pessoas que é realmente o tema principal. Ou seja, é, um, é um sistema é, muito delicado para conseguir ver é, o que é, que é a arquitetura utilizada. É por isso que me lembrei do, do Domus, porque, no fundo, foi um felicíssimo, mas único momento hum. é, de um projeto que podia ser muito profícuo, mas acabou com o primeiro número, que foi um, um evento único para isso. É, que, que realmente eh, tem, tem totalmente a ver com, com isto de construção de um imaginário que é a utilização da máquina e não a máquina em si. É por isso que não é um filme de arquitetura, mas um filme sobre arquitetura. É, era, realmente, qual é que era a relação entre, é, entre estas duas partes? Né? Como é que surgiu esta, esta vontade? A familiaridade com o espaço é evidente em todos os vossos percursos. Partindo de um caso doméstico, não é? quase se vê no vosso primeiro filme um, uma, um amor à volta do, 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 da procura da câmara, é? e, e depois há uma familiaridade superior. E a relação com... Uh, a pergunta era realmente qual é que é a relação com uh, o, a revista. Yeah, we uh, yeah we know very well the the magazine, we knew the magazine, and we talk uh, about uh, we do with this interview with uh, Ryan Collard, we we talk about this uh, number that he he was the the the, the editor of this uh, number of uh, Domus or post occupancy, <coughs> and. Uh, It was very surprised that uh, after a number of this, uh, this magazine, we came with this film and say, "Well, this, this is post occupancy. It's very post 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 occupancy," <laughs> and uh, it's, it's very interesting because uh, for the first films until uh, Gary uh, Frank Gary, we always made uh, an interview with the architects, and uh, one. For the film with uh, Renzo Piano, uh, Renzo Piano told us that uh, for him it's very, very important to, n to understand what is happening to his building after the, the occupancy. Because uh, when you design a building, you have uh, a lot of um, hypotheses, a lot of uh, hypotheses in, the mi in your mind. And you think uh, you, know, you, you, you know that uh, you want that The, the people go there, 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 but uh, a lot of things changes, uh, a lot of things change uh, after uh, the occupancy. And he told us that uh, regularly, often, he goes to Centro Pompidou, that is uh, near of uh, his office. He goes to Centro Pompidou to see how it works. So, he, and he stays uh, he hidden, hidden uh, back in the columns 
just to, to watch to watch people how do people go uh, how do people go and uh, how they move uh, and uh, I think that our films uh, for the, for an architect uh, when we work on a building of your of uh, of, of uh, an architect the architect is really interested to watch the film but as the a lot of architects are so narcissistic. <laughs> they they would like to to see uh, 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 only the, the the good things, but uh, we just how we we film everything, so uh, things uh, bad and good. So it's not our interest to film uh, something that is beautiful, something that is wonderful, uh, working very good or not. But so it's it, because it's a it, it's a very hard work. I don't know how many of you are architects, but it's very difficult to be an architect. So I decided not to be. <laughs> it's very difficult because uh, you have to fight a lot to 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 come to to have your building as uh, as uh, is in your mind. It is so complicated to to, to, to do this. And when uh, I, I can understand this. And when your building is finished, you you thought about every detail. So you stay in the, on the building side, fighting for half these details as you wanted. Uh, you don't you don't sleep the, during the night because uh, this detail is not as you want. You ask to redo, you remake it, uh, so it's a catastrophe. At the end, you are so happy that your building is like you have uh, your idea you had in your mind. And just <laughs> some days after your occupancy, someone come in, in your building and change everything. He puts uh, the, you, 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 you thought uh, during a week that uh, the, this chair has to be here. Uh, he, ta he takes the chair and put the chair there. And you say, why, why there? So, but life is like this. Uh, and uh, maybe the architect has, the, has a problem to accept the life at the change of the lives. And this number, this uh, magazine about post occupancy it was interesting because uh, of this, because uh, the life is complicated also, and uh, you, need to, you need to appropriate of your space. If, if you don't appropriate, not appropriate of your space, you have uh, maybe, maybe this place, you, you feel that you, you don't have a life. When you go out now, when everybody goes out, is a, a place like another, no? So it's, yes, it's a beautiful place. You can say yes, yes, it's a beautiful place. But when you enter in this place, you don't feel uh, that someone is appropriating the place, no? I, I say this, uh, I, I, it's my it was my teacher, Grigotti, so the, uh, I can say it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful place. But because the people don't live here, so they don't have time to change this place. But, but if I came to, uh, I came to your house, it's your house because you want uh, this place. And this uh, uh, working on the uh, on iconic uh, buildings is very interesting because you don't have the, the right to change there. This is another thing that uh, we were very interested by the rights of the architects on a building because it's very complicated to change something a little bit in this building because now when you have a, you, you, are, are you an architect? Yeah, you know very well that uh, you have a, a sort of contract. Uh, if you make a, a building, we, uh, I, I'm, I'm the owner, but I can't change something, uh, anything in my house. So it depends how famous you are. But uh, if you are very famous, I can't. So, so they live in buildings that are decided by the architects, and you you can you can't appropriate of this place. So it's strange, no? I don't know. For me, it's, it's really strange. And uh, Renzo Piano is interesting for the, how, this, how he designed or he want to design the building because he says, uh, I try to design a place just for the appropriation of the, the people. So they go inside and they can do what they want. So he says that. I don't know if uh, it's uh, really it's, uh, the reality, but yeah, but this is a long disc. Long, uh, Yeah, maybe we'll stop. <laughs> you want to see this? Okay, thank, thank you very much for you. It's very, very interesting question. Thank you.
Yeah, thank you, Thuya. It was made.